Okie doke, and this is the 4.4K, the 2 by 1 aspect ratio at 11 bit. You know I couldn't do a video without showing some love to my Canon EOS M earlier. I just did an SOO straight out of camera video with the X-H1 right here with this setup right here, the 23mm f2 lens classic chrome because it does have great skin tones even better than eterna i think eterna just has that great overall output with the clean soft shadows and highlight roll off so it has better dynamic range but still classic chrome just looks better overall but regardless this is the eos m and it's a two by one aspect ratio so it's closer to the dci format that i shot with the xh1 and again 11 bit goodness so we can clean up some of the shadows behind me a lot better but i think i might be under exposing so if all these 4k cameras mirrorless cameras are out of the budget for you guys the eos m is just the next best thing for you guys because eos m just has amazing quality for what it is it's a basically a mini cinema camera that shoots raw internally and right now we're at 11 bit 4.4k and it just looks fantastic now due to the crop we do lose a lot of the bokeh that we would get with a normal APS-C but that's no problem you know get some vintage lenses get some f1.8 f1.4 vintage lenses and you're good to go the quality we get out of this EOS M is just unbelievable and don't get me wrong we gotta be realistic here too it does take a lot of work to tweak to be it takes patience to be able to record again and again when it keeps crashing on you and that's just a little trouble somebody comes with the territory you know you get what you pay for so but once you deal with all those cons that it comes with shooting with the eos m it's just an amazing product so there you have it guys there's no excuse to not be able to get good footage in 2023 what a great time to be alive where we can get great secondhand used gear that just shoots amazing video and just in case you guys are curious about workflow with the eos m basically my workflow is just import the footage to the mlv app export into the cinema dng lossless or i if i really need to clean up the footage really really well i'll just export to apple prores the regular one or maybe the lt for longer clips that way i could save on the storage space and get a little bit of a faster export times and in davinci resolve just turn everything into black magic film it's kind of like their log that they have built in to um, davinci resolve and just slap on a phantom lot but if you don't have money if you haven't purchased any phantom lots then the free ari alexa lot c log lots i don't know if i said that correctly the ari alexa log lots i don't know just look in the vinci resolve they're free they're built in to the vinci resolve and you have the ari alexa lots there and that's it just tweak them with the white balance and you are good to go. Speaking of white balance, you know what I noticed that the Canon EOS M, if I leave the white balance at 4200 Kelvin, the 4200K, the colors are amazing. I barely have to touch any balancing whatsoever and I just get great color straight out of the camera with that little setting there. Just put your white balance at 4200 you probably thank me later, so you're welcome. And yeah, I know, I know it's a lot of work, exporting, the exporting time, the editing, the, who the time, but once it exports and it's imported into YouTube, it still looks pretty, pretty amazing. So it's worth the hassle. Anyway, guys, I'm just giving you guys options here to get great footage for your channels, whatever. If you're into doing cinematic shots or just regular, you need an A cam, a B cam camera, these two options are the best you can buy for in 2023. You got the good all around Fujifilm X-H1 and then you have the cheapo EOS M shooting raw. 
can't go wrong with those choices. Anyways, guys, if you approve of this message, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe because you know in this channel this is all this is what the channel is all about making the best use of what we got the gear the tech we have in our lives we want to make the best use of it for cheap or better yet free so thanks again for watching and i hopefully see you guys on the next video so don't forget to hit the little bell to let you know when that video does come up until then we'll see you next time bye